like you're gonna fish or something. Yep, we're going fishing. You got like 50 poles there. Just four. Gotta have different presentations. Well, it may not look like it, but I am taking you guys out here on the Wisconsin River. So it's a little bit smaller than most of the areas you've probably seen, but we're going to see if we can figure out a bite here today. We are in full summer mode. We've got the beautiful tannic water that I love so much. I have no idea how this river sets up at all. Zero idea. I've never seen it. Haven't even really looked at it up on a map. I'm just meeting my friend. He's a little bit upstream. I'm going to catch him. We're going to fish along the way and see if we can put something together. So it should be a fun time. This is a great time of year to be out on the river and catching fish in a variety of positions with a variety of techniques. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. Something nosed it. This was pretty decent size. The fish that nosed the plopper. There he is. Stay away from the trolling motor. Decent fish. Yeah. And that, this one's pretty aggressive. It's pretty big. Pretty big. That one illustrates the importance of having a follow-up bait. That one I don't think had any intention of eating the whopper plopper. Just nosed it, seeing what it was, and that is a Wisconsin smallmouth, my first Wisconsin River smallie in a while, and that's a good one. It's a thick one. He's got shoulders. So that fish was on an inside turn, kind of hidden out uh, of the way of the most of the current, but if you pay close attention up here, there's some current that's pushing a little bit closer to this inside bend coming off of this big tree up here. I already know what you're going to say, and I do have bug spray, but it's in the car. So do you have some? Take a wild guess what it is. Yeah, unhooked itself. Doesn't count. Quick release. All right, that fish was behind that lay down. Came out for it. I'm not getting bit like tight to the cover. It's like I'm throwing at the cover and then I'm coming they're, 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 almost they're halfway of, up. Yeah, they're yeah. usually off a little bit. 
trying to save myself a net job, but they just keep going and going and going. That's another good one. It's a thick one. It's probably only an 18er, but another one that fell victim to the weighted wacky. Good fish. Good Wisconsin River fish, in any case. So as much as I like throwing topwater and power fishing, uh, sometimes you just have to let the fish tell you what to do. And when you're fishing really juicy spots that my buddy is telling me, okay, you know, this held fish last week. We hit a couple of those, nothing on top. Other really juicy spots that I'm seeing myself and nothing is coming out for the plopper, or if they are, they're nosing it. That means I need to shift my bait selection in a more of a finesse direction. And this is how I'm adapting. Nice weighted wacky. This rig gets a lot of hate, but it really comes in handy in the river. Yeah, I naively thought, oh, it's a nice day to wear shorts, no sun. There's something. got off. He's up there shallow. Yeah. The, one, the ones that were... Come on now. Still got one. That's not very big though. Yeah, they're all getting me wet today. Oh, <laughs> something smoked it and took the Senko. Five feet towards the channel, deep bank, it's got all the makings of a big fish spot. Oh, these mosquitoes are f***ing me up. I think it was a smallmouth too.
as I'm retying this leader line, I just want you guys to listen. You hear that? Nothing. Love it. Oh, that was a big swipe over here. No love on the black plopper. I guess I should be throwing perch. Come on guys, let me get a plopper bite. I was gonna position over here anyway for this bank because it's just beautiful deep cut bank wacky eater god the thing is fat the bank is just too good to not just float a wacky all parallel to it For cut bank, it's like fantastic. It's not like, uh, you know, calling special, you kind of have to be bouncing or dragging the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, it's good because you can, you can, you can, even with like a 16th ounce, you can kind of regulate mm -hmm. the depth by, you know, how much you're bouncing it and stuff. It's kind of my favorite aggressive finesse technique. Control the depth, control the, how much jerk you give it let it sit on the bottom there goes my peace and quiet damn I always wanted to listen to shitty music on the river here's my chance got one chunk rock area so I'll throw the crank bit in there and got one to go I just want one top water eat when they just like destroy it that's all I'm asking for I don't know how that was even a fish. Literally didn't even see it eat it. It's like I it's like it was sitting under the water with its mouth open. I didn't even think that my bait touched the water. What in the world was that? Definitely gonna have to go to the replay on that. Well, I guess I can't be too picky. It's a topwater fish, but it wasn't a violent strike. Oh, gotcha. Thing is fat. I didn't even know. Literally did not know. That is a fat, fat freaking smallmouth. Gosh, what are you guys eating? 
Yeah, it was like up there, about halfway down. I don't know, like I, I didn't even really feel like my bait ever even hit the water. Like it, I tucked it really close to the bank, so it was like touching the grass. And then it was just like, I thought I was reeling, but I thought it was grass and then it just started pulling and pulling. Not grass. God. Maybe 19 and a quarter. This bank here is not really undercut much. It's just uh, got some overhanging grass. We've actually got some submerging grass here too, but it does have some flow coming down around this tree. And then right over here at the end of it, Show me where this pike is. Let me get him out of the way for you. Yeah, see, he's up there in the grass. Got, got a swim bait in his mouth somewhere. Oh! <laughs> that one uh, looked kind of skinny. All right, y'all, it is starting to get dark and I'm, well, I've already been getting eaten up by mosquitoes, but we're gonna head back in. This was a uh, nice little night to kick off a week long trip up here uh, in the Northwoods. We're gonna be fishing the Wisconsin, the Mississippi, St. Croix. Uh, so I have all that to look forward to, but having a solid night like this with 18, 19 inch fish, uh, really just a good way to get your confidence up for the rest of the bite in the next coming days. So I'll see you then, come along. <laughs>